I have to show you how we can import 2D geometry into 3D. So let's add some, uh, let's build some 2D geometry first. So this is 2D geometry. This, uh, let's say this is in millimeters. Uh, I will quickly make uh, one triangle which we, we will import later in our 3D uh, model. Let's say go on sketch. I click on the polygon and make some random triangle. So let's say this is our triangle that we want to import into the 3D. Go back to the geometry and right click and click on the import. So since that is in 2D and we are importing it into 3D, we have to create a work plane. So let's say go on a work plane and once you choose the work plane, it will, it will ask whether you want to uh, include that work plane in a in XY plane or YZ plane, plane or XZ plane, whatever, whatever plane that you want to uh, select that you can select from here. Let's say we want to select it on YZ plane, select on that, the orientation will change and then go, go on the plane geometry and click on import. So here you, you will get the option of like what file you want to import. So since that file is already uh, built on console multiplicity software, then we will just click on the geometrical sequence. So this is geometry 2. So just click on geometry 2 and import. So you will see that now we have imported a 2D geometry in the 3D model. And now we, now what we want is to, let's say we, this is the triangle and what we want is to get a cone out of this, cone out of this triangle. So how we can make cone? So what if we, on this axis, if we rotate this triangle, we will get the cone. So I will show you like how we can do those things. Go on geometry, go on the revolve. So once when you click on the revolve, it will show you, it will ask you on which axis you want to revolve this object. So by default, it has selected this and which is the correct one also. And whether you want to, here you have to select whether you want to rotate it fully 360 or 180 that you can select from here let's say let's say we want to just just we will be building 360 degree so just 360 degree and click on build all so now see so as you can see we have imported we have we have rotated our triangle into a form of cone so you can see we have got the cone so right so you you saw that how i i was able to convert the 2d geometry into the 3d using the work plane option so so similarly you, it can be done for other other geometry as, as well like let's say let's say instead of triangle we we want to make a cylinder so just uh, let's disable this and make new sketch one is polygon okay now again we have to import create a work plane plane geometry Click on it, click on import, go on the geometry sequence for plane geometry 2. So here you see that there is a, there, there is another option also work plane 1 which is which is the one that we have already created here. We want, but we want to create uh, the 3D from the geometry 2. So just click on geometry 2 and build on. You see here we have got a 2D geometry here. Let's 
disable this one for the time being. So disable this one as well. So we have got a rectangular rectangle here. Now again perform the same thing, go on the revolution. We want to revolve revolve this along this axis. Let's say this time we just do 180 degree. So it's that easy uh, to create a 3D object from 2D uh, using console multiphysics software. You can also like you can uh, if you if you want you can also create a directly 3D object without uh, taking it from the 2D from from 2D. Just go on geometry. You will get different options of like how to create block, how to create cone, cylinder, and all sphere and all. You can do that directly as well. You just and you will click on like let's say you want to build cone. When you click on cone, you will provide the bottom radius and height and all those things. If you provide like let's say the height is ten, bottom is one, top top radius is five, let's say two, let's say three. Build all. So you can see here, yeah. I've got the cone. So this is how you import 2D geometry into the 3D and then you convert it into the 3D objects. Rest, uh, in the next video I will show you how you can, from the scratch, how you can build a 3D objects without importing and and perform other boolean operations uh, like cut and other options like conversion transform into array copy and mirror that i will cover in the next video thanks